Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show video footages of the Breeze 4K by Unique at 720p, 1080p and 4K. I know the drone has been around for a year, but when I bought this for half price, I did do some research and I was a bit disappointed at the videos I saw on the web because some people uh, do footage, but they don't show the exact same view. So it's difficult to compare between the three resolutions or they show you an amazing landscape with water, a beach or a forest. But that doesn't work because if you see, for example, leaves moving in the video, is it the wind that makes them move? Or is it the electronic stabilization that is not doing a good job? So I decided to fly in the park, like legally. I was 30 meters away from houses. I flew at 100 feet, way below the maximum limit. And what I did is this. I did the 360 degree, so you will see the exact same view for the three resolutions. I'm not going to talk during the video footage so you can see what's happening. I'll just give a summary at the end, but pay attention here. At 720p, you will see that the civilization does a very good job at keeping the image very steady. That's because the processor is dealing with less than 1 million pixels. When you go to 1080p, you go to about 2 million pixels. But that makes the job more difficult, even though you have fewer frames. And you will see here that sometimes the image will jump a bit like this or a bit sideways. So something that you will not see here at the 720p. But you're lacking resolutions here. At 4K, uh, with the current technology in this drone, it is impossible for the processor to do image stabilization and you're limited to 30 frames per second. So let's have a look at the footage and uh, I'll come back at the end to give my impressions. So guys, you saw the footage in uh, closing. You probably noticed, like I said before, the quality here of the stabilization at 720p, very impressive. Uh, 1080p is what I will be using. If you don't move your drone too fast, it's, you're okay with 30 frames per second. But that's why I did the 360 panorama because you could see when the drone moves, you could see here 30 is not enough, really. You want the 60. And 4K, is uh, really unusable except if you want to do for example a picture of a group of people because uh, the drone has a selfie mode you can do a, a video at 4k and if the drone doesn't move too much you take a still image with a video editing software and then you will get a very nice 4k picture so as always guys if you have any questions leave me a, a um, comment down below and i'll be happy to get back to you have a good day. Goodbye.